Asante sana and habari asubuhi to everyone. Nice to see you. Uh, tomorrow we start the Chan qualification campaign. And uh, technically we are playing away because it's Somalia, Tanzania. And then next Saturday we are playing the second game, Tanzania versus Somalia. For the Chan, there is two rounds, round one, where we have to play Somalia. And the winner from round one will move on to round two, where we already know that the winner have to play Uganda. And the winner of the second round will be qualified into the final next year for the Chan. When we started this camp for about a week ago, eight, nine days ago, the players were coming from the holiday. So it has been a kind of a challenge to find the balance between the amount, intensity of training to make the players fit without uh, making them fatigue. Because they have been coming from holiday, maybe three weeks of holiday, where they have been doing maybe very little. So we try to find the balance between training and recovery, rest, so that everybody can be fit for tomorrow's match. Preparation, as I always say, is a very important thing in football. One part of the preparation, and a huge part, is our training. I'm wondering and cannot really understand that when we are the Taifa Stars, we are playing Chan qualification, an important game, and we are not allowed to do training at the national stadium. Except one session, we are only allowed to train at artificial. And we are going tomorrow to play at grass. Of course, if the pitch Mkaba was in a bad situation, but why I'm wondering is that at the same time, today they will start on the 20 tournament, women's tournament. And I know yesterday, the under 20 team from France, they have been allowed to do training. We are not allowed to do training, even on the final day today, before the match, we are not allowed to do training at the national stadium. I always feel like when we play at home, we should have the advantage as our national team. Sometimes when we play away, we have to accept what they, what they give us. I'm just wondering why I don't understand this priority. Why we are not allowed and at the same time, on the 20 teams are allowed to do training and they're allowed to play three matches at the Mkapa Stadium. But it's out of my hand. For, for, the, for the players, all players are, are ready, so I think we try to find that balance between uh, coming from holiday. The only one who get injured uh, have been David Luende, who uh, got a muscle problem, and he will be out uh, for tomorrow. Hopefully, he have time to recover and start training again, so he can be in the picture for the, for the next game. But for tomorrow, he is out. All other players are ready for the match uh, tomorrow. When we look at our team, when we play the AFCON, AFCON, we are having players from outside. Many of our players who come from outside are taking up attacking offensive position. I think you can name it yourself to see Samata, Simon, Msuva, and so on and so on. Many of the players are attacking offensive players. So for this camp, it's really important that our local players who play in Tanzania, in Tanzania offensive attackers like Kibo, George Mpola, Abdul, and so on, that they take the responsibility and they show the character. I have strong belief in them because they are good, they have played well in the league for the team, but now they also have to show it at international level. That is the task for them tomorrow with the team. And when we talk about taking this responsibility, I've also been asking the, the senior players, or you can say the players who have been in the game for a long time, like our captain, 
Aishi. I've told him, together with some of the other players, now it's the time for you to take leadership, take responsibility. But I think you all know a good football team, we have a good football team. But to be really good, you need strong leaders. You need leaders in the defense, in the midfield, to organize, to say when we go fast, when we slow down. So to take responsibility, that is an issue also for some of our matured players here when they play for the big clubs in, in the Premier League, that they take that responsibility tomorrow in the game and are guiding the younger players to guide them to perform well. Because that is what is all about tomorrow. It is to perform up to our very best. And then we have a strong belief in ourselves. The players believe, they have the confidence, they have the mentality that they want to achieve something. And they know to achieve something, it starts with a good performance. A good performance against Somalia tomorrow can give us a good result. And that can give us a good position before the second game. And that's what we are looking. When you play in the professional game, of course, you know your opponent. And always, whoever you are the favorite or you're not the favorite, the most important thing is to have respect for your opponent. So that's also an issue we have talked about, that we always have respect for our opponent. And we know if we start the game, and when we start the game, with hard work, then the game might ending up be look, look easy in the end. But we have to start on the right, with hard work, and the right attitude, and the right commitment. It all comes by concentration and ability to zoom in and focus on the 90 minutes of the performance. And I have a strong belief that our players are ready. As I told you at the last, last press meeting, we are doing our training on the training ground, but we are also doing training at the hotel. Yesterday we had another meeting. That meeting was about how to control yourself, how to take care of yourself, about nutrition, rest and sleep. Another meeting was more about the mentality, what is to have a strong mentality, tactical and so on. So we are working on the pitch and on the pitch that is an important part of our preparation. Thank you very much.